Achievement Award present to Joseph Jazz Aiden for decades of service to the incarcerated and those who have returned home by citizens of recidivism awarded the fifth day of November of 2011. Signed, President and Vice President. <laughs>
out of control, man. The regulators are absolutely out of control. And Occupy Wall Street all over this country and all over the world tells you that people are suddenly becoming aware of that. They say only 1.5% of the perpetrators of the approximately 9 million crimes committed annually end up in prison. 1.5%. Huh? Everybody is a criminal. <laughs> the interest of criminal law has been to uphold the selective moral code and its main economic and social power. Who gets caged? Poor people of color. To be black, somebody said, I, I heard this too recently, man, and I don't want to bore y'all, but somebody said to be born black and have a, and develop a conscience is to be in a constant state of rage. That's how I live. You know, I forgot who opened up and said something about the, you got to be crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I got over 300 videos up on YouTube with me in the police face. And all my friends, and I'm, that's happening on the streets of Harlem. Not in conference rooms or in, in office space or nothing. Yo, I, I, I'm on the streets. And uh, they see me as crazy until the police stop them. You know, but, I mean, the state of rage is what drives me, man. I just got, like I said, I just got back from L.A. I'm going to Chicago, man, for the, uh, 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 the uh, campaign to end the death penalty. And I'm moving around on all these issues. But no matter where I'm at, I see the same thing. In L.A. right now, I see property like I've never seen before. And five blocks away was the Western Hotel in Wells Fargo building, up about 30 stories. You know, and this contrast between poverty and wealth is like a cookie cutter. It's all over this country. You know. And if you don't feel a sense of rage when you see these kind of things here, then you're really in the wrong place. You, sh you shouldn't be in America because this has become the template. Uh, receiving this award is an honor for me. I have to acknowledge that. And I have to acknowledge my brother, Big Al, we sat in prison together while he was working on his master's degree and I was finishing up my bachelor's degree and he's always been a step ahead of me on his education. <laughs> and to see him here and to come here to receive this award is is an honor for me. There's honor in this. Y'all saw that cop down there, that, that soldier down there on Occupy Wall Street telling the police, why are you pulling out your guns? These are American citizens. And that there's no honor in this. Well, there's honor in the work that we do here. There's honor in this. Because everybody here that's doing this work that was formerly in prison or formerly in a cage, come out and do this work is something, man, that I will admire and respect for the rest of the days of my life. Because many of us that sit around and talk. <laughs> many of us, you know, receive the benefits of doing advocacy work and service provision work. You know, but we don't put our feet on the ground. And they like used to say it now, they ain't no boots on the ground. But this group here, the honorees, and everyone else that, that were, was nominated for these awards, they put in the work. So let me cut it short and say that uh, even though I'm honored by this award, this Lifetime Achievement Award, if I walk out of here with this award right now and go down in the valley and hollow, and the police stop me and I say, listen, I just want to <laughs> a lifetime cheap in the water. You ain't got no business to put your hands on me, man, right? He said, a lifetime what? Man, get against the wall. <laughs> and, you know, these awards are beautiful things. Solve the problem of this mass incarceration. 
this new Jim Crow that exists, that we find ourselves in now, that Michelle Alexander is, uh, uh, has explained so cogently and so clearly. There is no hiding from the forces, man, that oppress us. No, we don't have but one choice, man. We either fight or lay down. And laying down with us is not an option. And the last thing I want to say is that I have started a new movement called the Campaign to End the New Jim Crow. I'm just one of many. I just came back from LA. I was out there from Monday until last night. And they have developed in there what is called the formerly incarcerated people's movement or prisoners movement. And uh, they cover over 12, 13 states. And we're trying to build the same thing. I'm responsible for this Northeast region. I'm trying to build the same thing here. Recently, I went up state and met with the New York State Prisoners uh, Network. And uh, we have reached uh, you know, an agreement to work together. So what I'm trying to do is consolidate the state. Everybody that's working for this same population that we're here to represent tonight. I'm trying to ask y'all to come and get on board. There's plenty of these brochures up front that will explain to you what it is that we're doing. We're not trying to run anything. We're not trying to reinvent the world, work the, the, the wheel. All we're saying is that all the advocacy work that has been done over the last 40 years has been a complete and total failure. That's not a smack in the face to anybody that has been doing that work. But it hasn't worked. And they say if you always do what you always done, you always get what you always got. What we are asking for is, and what we're proclaiming is that it's time to connect the dots. It's time for us to work together to, to dismantle the system and bring it down. No more fixing it up. No more table cloths in the visiting rooms and flat screen TVs up in the, in, in, in the church. We ain't talking about that no more. Now, if that's the kind of work we're doing, keep on doing it. You know, some of it is needed. What we need to do now is to begin to think about dismantling the system. Brick by brick by brick. these resources to go. 